What's up guys? How's it going? It's been a while since I did a video, but today was kind of a day that really motivated me to sit down in this chair and not do some research, but talk to you guys. Uh, because if you remember, about a month ago, if you follow my page on Facebook, um, whether it's my blog page or, or my personal page, about a month ago, there were advertisements that started showing up in Facebook feeds uh, about a ghost hunt in a box. It was a monthly subscription uh, box, pretty much like Loot Crate and like Marvel DC has one, and even uh, the podcast Squaring the Strange has a Skeptic Crate, which is, sounds really cool, and one of these days I'll sign up for it. But it's, it's a monthly subscription thing, and I guess the biggest question that I had received from a few dozen people, like a lot more people than I realized or, or would expect, but the biggest question was, is this a is this real or is this a game? Is it just a, a cheap game? You know, there was a lot of questions. And to be honest, I believe the first advertisements were very misleading. And I say this because I screen capped some of the things, uh, some of the the the, the screens <laughs> on the website of Ghost Hunt. And I have them here. Like, this is one. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. There it is. Frequently asked questions under Ghost Hunt. Okay. And the first one asks, asked, how does Ghost Hunt work exactly? And it actually goes into detail saying, we've sent several teams to investigate actual haunted locations around the world. Uh, like Alcatraz, the Queen Mary, and Penhurst Asylum. Uh, we'll send you a Ghost Hunt box. Uh, to you full of items like intriguing photographs, eerie audio and video recordings, physical objects related to the haunting, documentation of paranormal activity, results of our on-site investigations, remember that part, uh, interviews of people who witness apparitions and more. You'll use the contents of the ghost hunt box to solve the mystery of the haunting. Now when this came out and I was getting, like I said, I was getting dozens of requests. I contacted the site uh, and I tried I tried to contact the site I sent them an email and I asked several questions basically like who was this team who made up this team what were their backgrounds um, and, and just general questions like that pretty simple questions I never got a response never but I went ahead and ordered the box anyway and now as I sat here as I sat down and I started gathering everything, um, getting ready to go, I went onto their website to pull it up so I could read notes from there instead of my phone. But I've noticed that the website has changed. Uh, now, that question about how exactly does the, the Ghost Hunt box work is gone. That doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and it, uh, it goes into detail uh, about what's in the box. It tells you... Uh, um, now it says the contents of the Ghost Hunt Mystery Package vary, but here are just a few of the items in this year's Ghost Hunt Mysteries. Uh, intriguing photographs, vintage red candle, historical letters, a skeleton key, ooh, uh, audio recordings of paranormal activity, infrared imaging results, which I don't know what that means, uh, a silver necklace, photos of an apparition, newspaper clippings, cryptic messages, ooh, an olive wood bracelet, Reports from our paranormal investigation team, diary entries, a morning card, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it goes on to tell you that this is a mon monthly subscription service uh, e that you'll receive each month. And as an investigator with a new ghost hunt mystery every month. Okay. I know I, I just, I screwed that sentence up. But basically, they're saying they're, they're sending it out to you. The, it used to read that you use the tools of a ghost hunter, which I question too. Like, what kind of tools? What do you mean? Like, are we talking EMF detectors, thermal uh, 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 thermometers, and like uh, full, full spectrum, <coughs> not full spectrum, cameras, and stuff like that? Again, no response. So I don't know what they were doing. But I did notice that they changed it around. They they originally had this air of mystery where it was like, all right, they maybe they really sent out teams to these places and they collected the notes and they're putting it in for this monthly box to share with everybody. But it basically says um, that each monthly, e I'm, I'm speaking over myself, 
Each monthly ghost hunt mystery is designed to be enjoyed and solved without any knowledge of our prior mysteries. However, all of our paranormal mysteries involve some recurring characters and storylines that connect all of our paranormal mysteries together. So basically right there it tells you this is, this is a game. That's basically what it is. It's a monthly mystery game. Um, which is not bad. If Take it by itself. It's not bad. But the way they had first and initially uh, marketed this thing, they marketed it as like a real ghost hunting team went out somewhere to a real location and they did this. And I have my doubts that this actually took place. But this isn't the bitch about it. Um, this is an unboxing video. And I'm already like five minutes into this freaking thing. So here's the box. This is what showed up on my door. Um, it actually, there's the mailing label, shipping label. So it didn't come in another box. This is it. So I was kind of disappointed with this already because I expected like a big box. <laughs> I was waiting for like a big box and I saw this on the step this morning. I was like, oh, that's it. Okay. And as you can hear, like as I'm moving the stuff around, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of stuff in here. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. So, my initial impression is, uh, alright, I'm bummed. You know, I'm, I'm a little let down. Because it doesn't really look like there's much to it. Because um, it's pretty thin. thin. Alright, but let's, let's, uh, let's open it and see what, what we're going to find. Ooh, are you excited? I'm excited. Alright, so... Let's see. We're going to open it. This is you're seeing it the first time I am. Okay. Ghost hunt start here. So let's see. There's Winchester House. Oh, it's the Winchester Mystery House. Some place I'd always like to I've always wanted to go and uh and, and visit just to see what's in the box and it gives you a list of what's in here. I don't know why the camera's getting so bright. Um, ooh, I got a ghost hunt ID card, a pendant necklace. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in here. It might actually be a cool thing. Um, despite being a little misleading when they, when they initially, uh, advertised it, the novelty of it, I think is going to be cool. So I'm not going to knock them for the novelty just for the bad marketing strategy. So, it tells you how to begin. As a member of the Ghost Hunt team, your new assignment is to investigate the haunting of the Winchester House documented by our field team. Field team. You will use the items, objects, and documents provided by the, by the field team. By the field team. It actually says field team. Let's see. Right. Uh, let's say you will use the items, and object, document provided by the field team in your Ghost Hunt box. So... Second page, big typo. Uh, la, la, la. Your goals are to determine the identity of the ghost we encountered at Winchester House and uncover the secrets of their tragic history. Whew. While there, while there have been many many reports of ghosts and apparitions at Winchester House over the years, our field team documented one specific entity. Ooh, investigate, solve the mystery. So this is basically the directions. Okay. Or like an overview of the directions. Ghost Hunt Paranormal Investigation. Winchester team, house team. Remember, October 20... Oh, I got a... It's, it's a business card. It's, it, they probably went through like... Um, um, the Shutterfly or uh, that other business card site. God, because that's all it is, a business card. Not impressed with that. Um, you got some... Oh, these are like postcards kind of thing. It's got a family there. Uh, and it's got a texture. I don't know if you can see that. It's got, see the texture? So, it's nice. It's, it's a cute photo. Um, here's a, I think I've seen this before. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, oh yeah, Sarah Winchester, I'm looking at the back. Duh. But, this is a photo I've seen many, many times. It says, rare photograph. Um, I'm sure the actual photograph is rare, and it, she probably didn't photo well, but I've seen this like a thousand times. Uh, photograph. 
apparition near the blue room. Are we going to see... <gasps> oh, it's a ghost. It's... <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> that's that's the ghost. Um, okay. I'm not really impressed. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's the that's the ghost. There's oh there's like a a false like journal note that looks like it's been ripped out of a diary, except typed. There are an awful lot of strange comings and goings at night around here. Oh yeah, it's a diary diary entry. Okay. Uh, oh, a newspaper clipping that uh, talks about a servant missing. With a picture on the back. Hmm. I'll read that later. Oh, another photograph with texture. This doesn't have anything on the back. Don't know who this woman is. Ooh. Here we go. Here's the infrared anomaly. This okay. This is this is dumb. <laughs> this is just dumb. It's uh it's a picture of a screen that you can't tell what the hell is going on there and it just it checks mark check marks at the bottom it says infrared phenomenon and then other <laughs> that's okay whatever there's an investigation report I mean the stuff is nice it really does look like a, a game like a board game when you open it up and all the stuff is is laid out that you're gonna use so let's see oh there's a case report so here's the, the front cover, and you open it up, and there's uh, documentation, case information, conditions. Oh, a new moon, because that has anything to do with ghost hunting. Field report, the team. Ooh, it gives you names. I wonder if these are just, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are just the characters that, you know, they, they talked about on the, uh, the website now. The field team for the Winchester House investigation consisted of Christian Foster, Amy Foster, Kyle Raymond, Amy Larme, and Caesar, our German Shepherd. Ooh, that sounds like it's a ripoff of the uh, later Ghost hunt Hunter shows where they brought the dog for some reason. Um, talks about preparation, the grounds, the greenhouse, paranormal events. So it gives you like a, I guess a an overview of what they experienced and a conclusion we continued to explore the Winchester house until just after 5 a.m. to our knowledge we visited every room stairway and attic we had no additional paranormal experiences except for the ones they I guess they talk about in here which I'll read later because it'll take too long to read all this stuff I'm, on, I'm at 13 minutes already ghost hunt Winchester house there was a postcard shot I wonder if they just ripped it off a postcard because it feels like a postcard. Um, let's see. Ooh, another journal entry. January 16th, 1896. My darling, I cannot wait to be in your arms again. Oh, that's sweet. But there it is. I mean, it would have been nicer if they actually, like, handwritten one and then, you know, copied it instead of actually just typed it out. Um, because it really doesn't... It would just, even though it's a game, because we know it's a game, it's it would be add a little bit to the 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 ambiance, the believability of the game if they just if somebody would have just handwritten a letter and then they just uh, copied it, that would have been better. Uh, in loving memory of Sarah Winchester, looks like a. The death announce announcement. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. It's a that's a cool novelty piece. I'll keep that. That might I might actually frame that. Uh, let's see who's this. Another servant. I wonder if this is the servant that went missing. Ooh, with a cat. Is that a cat? That's a cat. Yeah, I'm not a cat person. Photograph, paranormal event in front of the stairs. Ooh, I like how they put, like, they put the, um, the apparition in its own, like, folding, uh, brochure type thing. 
and now they have another it's a photograph let's see what's in here Ooh, it is a image pixelated from enlargement it looks like a, a very uh, b-movie ripoff of the brown lady of raymond hall that's that's kind of cheesy and it's not really it's it's not pixelated I guess they just put that in there for you know effect let's see another shot of the Winchester house so that's great um, uh, family shot there's a lot of stuff in here there's more stuff than I expected I'll give them that family shot oh it's what's on the back it says Winchester house staff December 1895 uh, top. Oh, and it gives names, middle, bottom. Okay. These are probably clues. Another journal entry. I'm not going to read that. Oh, this is more of a letter. It's folded up like a letter. October 23rd, 1895. Sarah Winchester. It's signed by Sarah Winchester. Signed. You know, stamped. Woman killed, another newspaper clipping. Actually, the back is much funnier. I like this. That's funny. What do you got? Winchester Repeating Arms uh, Company. Breach Loading Gun. It's like schematics. It's, it's partial schematics for a repeating gun. It's hot up here. Whew, I gotta turn the air on. Another journal entry. From the diary of Ida Evers. That's a clue on the back. Make sure you look at all of it. Oh, we got another anomaly here. Temperature anom anomaly. So it's just a picture of the back of an infrared temperature gun. Um, saying 28 degrees. Uh, let's see. Temperature change. And it gives you a little bit of information on the bottom. There's another. I wonder if I can find these pictures online. Because if I can, I'm really going to be pissed. Let's see. Oh, there's some stuff in here. This is a news... It's actually like... I mean, it's not an old newspaper. It says it's from... Let's see. Well, there is no date. Just says special edition. Winchester. Mysterious Winchester House. It's actually like an, a folding paper. But with an advertisement on the back. <laughs> This is actually kind of nice. I like this. It's got pictures in it. It's got the same pictures that they sent me in the postcards. Um, ooh, some spooky stuff. Uh, tools of the trade. There's the K2 meter. Useless piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> I'll go over that later. Let's see. Up, oh, red candle. Red candle. I have the exact same ones downstairs. They cost me a dime each. Uh, let's see. Oh, a pen. Oh, I got a ghost hunt pen. I think this is my favorite thing <laughs> in here because I like pens. And finally, they sent me a cross. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. All right, and that's it. There you go. That's the unboxing. Uh, nothing else in the box. And, uh,. So, final thoughts on this. It's definitely not real. Um, and as, as evidenced by not only the stuff that they sent, but by the change in the website. Um, and I'm going to totally take credit for that. Since I emailed them asking about it, I'm totally taking credit for that. Uh, even if I didn't, I'm going to take credit for that. Uh, they definitely changed it up. And they, before they were very misleading, telling you, making you think that it was a real ghost hunt kind of thing going on and now they they're telling you after the first month of selling this stuff they changed the website and they reflect that it's a just a monthly game um that's uh, that's going to build in the story and interact with the characters it's going to be an ongoing thing if people still go with it um i canceled my sus subscription because i only wanted the one box uh just to see what was in it and uh, I'm curious about how many other people are going to do the same thing. But as a game, 
it's kind of cool. Um, I can't really say anything bad about it except, I mean, it, as I as I commented, I made the comment, you know, like some of these postcard pictures are probably ones that I can find online. Easy. I mean, I know I've seen this one of Sarah Winchester uh, dozens of times. This one is just an overhead shot. Um, and, and the rest of the stuff is is on par with the quality that you would expect to get from a board game uh, or any kind of game like that. So, again, for the novelty, uh, it's cool. For ghost hunting, it's silly. For the price, I paid $35 for this. And that was uh, including shipping. It wasn't worth the price. Um, I don't think it was worth the price. Maybe 20 bucks for for a game. Yeah, then I would do it. But considering like all this stuff, like like I said, the pictures they got up most likely online. This was a dime. I I know, and this is my cost. This is retail cost because I go to these kind of uh, you know metaphysical shops and and see the cool stuff in there, and I pick these up. Um, to use for art and, uh, and just to have candles because we have candles around here and I know how much they cost so that the the cross it's it's a cheap chain um, and it probably was this I, I don't know how much it is I'm not going to speculate because I don't know but the rest of this stuff is easily printed out there's nothing in here that's that's really like stand out it out ish and that would uh that would warrant $35. But again, it's nice quality. I don't want to rip it too bad. It's nice nice quality for a game. I mean, this is exactly what I would expect from a game. Um, and I'm going to go read through it all. Because I actually got to go downstairs because it's hot up here. And I'm sweating like a pig. So I'm going to go downstairs in the air conditioning and go through it. I'm upset about the Ghost Town ID card. I wish it would have looked better. Because um, it looks kind of cheesy. But otherwise, eh, there you go. I just wanted to do an unboxing video. I'm probably going to write an article and get more in depth with it. Um, with Because uh, I screen capped all the, the, the entire website before I actually signed up for it a month ago. So I'm going to compare notes and see what's going on and then write it all up. But I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hey, if you see this and you're in Vegas next week, I'll be there. 17th to the 21st for PsyCon. Come on out. Later.